Hi everyone, I'm here to talk about the thermo. So the thermo monitors the temperature specifically within the range of negative 55 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius. In Fahrenheit, this is negative 67 degrees Fahrenheit to 257 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you can see, the range is quite large, meaning that the thermo can handle a lot. And that also means that the thermo can be used for a lot. Some uses include HVAC uses, server rooms, basements, second homes, even fish tanks. And every day we actually learn more uses from our customers. Now, it's important to note that all Zynec devices, which I have right here, the Thermo X and the Soyomote, all of these Zynec devices are powered by AA batteries, smartphone controlled through our Zynec app, send you text message alerts as soon as the temperature goes out of a range that you choose, and are all IP67 waterproof and dustproof. Now, the soil moat handles measuring soil moisture. And as said before, the thermo handles the temperature. But so does the Thermo X. So I wanted to briefly go over the difference between the two so you can make a better informed decision. So as mentioned before, the Thermo handles negative 55 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius. The Thermo X handles negative 200 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Celsius. And in Fahrenheit, this is negative 328 degrees Fahrenheit to 392 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you can see, the temperature range is quite a bit bigger for the Thermo X. It can handle ultra low and ultra high, while the thermal is more for your typical temperature ranges. It's also important to note that if you're looking for a NIST traceable device, get the Thermo X. And if you're looking to monitor a freezer, get the Thermo X, because the Thermo X has this different material, thinner probe that fits a lot better through freezer doors. So there's all about the Thermo and what it has to offer. And thank you for joining me.